So you want to clear level fours in EVE Online with your new Dominix. This is the video for you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Name is Loru, digital advertiser and content creator and EVE enjoyer for the better part of, well, 10 years now. I've been playing EVE for longer than that, actually, but I've been doing all the other ones for that. And today we're going to show you my Dominix Navy Issue build. Now, you don't necessarily need to use the Navy Issue for this. Uh, there's some slight variations with the actual Dominic itself. Navy issue is more tanky, obviously. So I wanted to show you all what we're working with here. First, we're, we're going to go into the fit, and then we're going to show off some gameplay, how this works. So uh, this is a drone sniper hybrid. So we're going to utilize some brawling drones that are going to be medium to short range, as well as some sniper, some wardens that are long range, long range meaning like over 100 meters away. Okay, so let's dive into the build here first. So we got the Navy Dominix. Uh, this is a tanky, beefy lady. Okay, she is thick. All right, so we got the three drone damage amplifiers down here. Now you're going to see a lot of faction gear, a lot of dead space gear because I've tricked this out. It's about two and a half billion isk. You don't need to spend this much stuff. I was doing this at Tech 2s and for all, all the things, and I just ranked up from there, got the money, bought the next part, got the money, did, did the next part. I was able to do level fours easily with this setup. I'll show you how in the middle slash end of the video. So start with the drone damage amplifiers then. Damage control, easy enough. We got two multi-spectrum energized membranes. You should be using the actual typed uh, energized membranes to the uh, mission that you're trying to complete i just like to not worry about it and just say hey we're just gonna do the whole spectrum and that way i don't have to switch out stuff in between missions uh this will make missions with higher dps a little bit more challenging but you don't really need the challenge with what i'm going to show you with how we actually fly the sniper drones with this fit so finally we have the c type centus armor repair if you're going to upgrade one of your low slots i recommend you start with the armor repairer and then go from there because you really need all three of the big bad drone damage amplifiers to make your plus damage work so having the armor rep is going to let you survive more things upgrade that one first for your lows okay so the next thing we're going to be looking at is the mids. Now we have a micro jump drive here. We are going to be using this similar to how marauders go, where if you get if the enemies get too close to you, if you're a little bit too close, and if you got too much pressure on it, you can pop away. This is going to put you, is it 100? I think it's 100, right? Man, I, I haven't been using this recently. So yeah, yeah, 100. It's there for like an uh, escape now for me. So this is going to pop you 100 kilometers in the direction you're currently facing, and then you can uh, pop out your sniper drones and keep on wailing on them, you know? So that's that's what that's for. A standard afterburner, the aligned time is almost 12 seconds on this thing. Like like I said, she is thick. So this is one pulse of this when you undock is going to, or when you are warping, is going to speed up your align and warp time. And it just helps you to get to the places faster because 129, goodness gracious, that is a that is a slow boat. Okay, so uh, we have a single drone nav computer and you'll notice it's not any kind of faction gear. It's just the tech two. That's on purpose. The, the variation for this really isn't enough for me to like spend the hundreds of millions of dollars it is in order to increase this. What is it? Uh, let's check this out. Tech two is a 30% velocity bonus, a 2% velocity bonus. So you go from a million to 32 million. I just don't care enough to have the 2% bonus. Why the drone nav computer if we have the sniper drones on there? They don't move exactly. We also have, remember, a hybrid build coming in here with some geckos, some other drones. We want them to get in, get out as quickly as possible because the time your non-sniper drones are taxiing to the next target, they're not doing DPS. So I see this as a DPS increase. And really in my testing, it has helped a lot in the speed of how I'm completing the, the uh, level fours. So next one is gonna be an omnidirectional tracking link and it's got a optimal range script in there. This is to increase the optimal range of the drones. Uh, I have a lot of problems with frigates and just if they're too fast, even if I have a bunch of frigates out, you know, they'll miss a bunch of times. If the other frigates are going too fast, if there's an interceptor uh, in the level four, so sometimes that happens, you know, then this lets them hit the targets every single time. Plus the geckos are very, very slow. And again, we'll go into the drone build in just a moment. So that's in there for a drone DPS increase. Large fleet cap battery. You'll notice that we, we are not stable. It doesn't matter. The way that we fly this, you don't need to be stable. Okay, this is just in there for... Uh, I haven't gotten ganked, but it can help if somebody is coming at you with some newts. But this is mainly just to give you some more cap in order to operate a little bit smoother. Okay. The final one, and this is the fun one. Recent addition to the build is the Sentient Center Booster. Yes, we're going to use this mainly for the targeting range bonus. Now, I do also pop this if I'm hitting a bunch of frigates, if I'm trying to target some new 
targets because the scan resolution bonus, those frigates take a long time to lock onto. It's many seconds. And with this, it goes much faster. So we're primarily going to use this. You're going to see when we get to the gameplay. This is going to increase the range that we can target stuff out to, to I think it's 139. If I did my math correctly, it's like I'm in my head. And uh, yeah, so this is going to let us target out way further uh, then we can base target off, and then we'll just go from there. So the tops, the highs, the good stuff. Two drone link augmenters. Again, this is just increasing the distance that we can give orders to the drone at. You could put a third in this. You could, and then increase the distance that you can tell your drones to attack stuff out to. Please do what I do what I tell you. Okay. How this works, if you're unfamiliar, is this is not just if your drone is 130, you can't away from you you can't give them orders. This is if the target is 130 away from you, you can't tell the drones to attack that. We will be 130-ish away. So this is a possibility. This is one of the things I'm going to be doing next. Just the tech twos in here, because once again, the bonus uh, to money ratio, I just don't care enough. You know, it's like you get another five meters, right? And with the diminishing returns, it doesn't really matter that much. 129 is good enough. Could I hit the 139 targeting if I got the extra ones? Sure. But again, it's just not something that I really care about because by the time you target stuff, they're already within a range of your guns and your drones and just call it, call it a day. So possible you can get a fit a third drone link damage augmenter in there. I'll probably test that too. So the guns, we've got four tech two rail guns and we've got three ammo types. Again, you can use tech one rail guns and note about your weaponry. You're going to upgrade your drone skills first with this. The guns are secondary. The guns are just meant to basically pull and apply a little bit extra damage. You can see the bulk of our DPS is coming from our drones with, it says that uh, the drones are doing 730 DPS is what we have, and the turrets are only doing 190. So as you, as you can see, focus on upgrading your drone skills first. Don't worry about if you don't have Tech 2 stuff. The ammo, however, here is the good stuff. Definitely use the good stuff with even if you're using Tech 1 because you really are going to get way more damage out of this if you start using the faction ammo. How we have this set up is the tungsten ammo is the far range ammo. This is going to hit uh, at the very maximum range. This goes out to 130, and we could target out to 139, so we're just at the cusp. Uranium is the medium ammo where the fall off is 83. So as the tungsten, as they start coming in, I'll swap out from the tungsten to the uranium. And finally, the antimatter is it's the close range. The optimal range of this is 36 km. Not close by any means. This is not a blaster. You are not going to be up close brawling with stuff. You're going to be at range. But the antimatter is the highest DPS ammo that we take. Now for the rigs. Large auxiliary nano pump. Large auxiliary nano pump and explosive armor reinforcer and these are all tech too so the nano pump is going to increase the amount of uh, armor that your rep gives you and you, we got two of them on there just to be able to tank the stuff and then finally an explosive armor re reinforcement because if we tank this out look at my defense section here okay you can notice that it goes down quite a bit becomes one of our lowest slots and that doesn't seem like a lot but there are quite a bit of missiles in the level fours a lot of these um angels revenge and all that stuff i think that's the one it just has nothing but missiles or at least if i'm thinking correctly so that loss of what was that like 12 16 percent uh damage when we are an armor tank in this fit is going to be a lot it's a lot of damage that you're that you're taking so that's the basic fit let's go into the drones that we're using here okay we have quite a bit of drones and i'm training up to get my tech 2 salvage drones and my drolk salvage drones is that what they're called because these let me just start off with tech one salvage drones they're just not very good and i literally don't even use them right right now i'm currently training up for the dunk salvage drones so use the better salvage drones because these are like not not worth it with that said the navy dominix's drone bay is huge is massive so you really can put a bunch of stuff in there okay so we've got salvage drones in there in case i'm taxiing and i'm going slow and i want to just salvage some stuff i have my noctis but this is just in case we got five em drones this is just gank proofing me so if i have five targets i can put one em drone on each and i can or excuse me ec drone on each and i can try to get the hell out of there or i can put all five on one target if there's something trying to lock me down uh, i'm in high sec right now but when i i ran this similar fit in null and it was doing great i would do more pvp stuff if i was in null but the point is this is what we do it's an insurance we got three geckos now the wise people here are, are going to know you can only have two geckos out at one time if we simulate this i'll show you the actual build we use for the drones okay we'll talk about the five warden one in just a moment it's two geckos two vespas and a hornet this is the uh, uh this is the uh combination that i found to be the highest dps with everything involved i've tried wasps i've tried multiple vespas i've tried 
geckos and hornets. This one is the best bang for your buck. So geckos, if you don't know, are basically fighters that you can use in a drone bay. They're huge. They're they're frigates essentially. So uh, this is how we're getting all of our DPS coming here. It's massive. It's fantastic. I love me some geckos. Okay. So the only note I'll tell you is that if there's a lot of frigates, I'll recall all the geckos and the vespas and I'll put out uh, four hornets and one Vespa, excuse me. And I'll just have this be my like light fighter slash frigate killing squad, my like little goon squad, throwing them out there. Get rid of the frigates, pull them back, get the geckos out. So uh, the other ones that you'll see in here are the wardens. And this is the snipe drones. And you can see the difference in DPS. The DPS here is 534 with the wardens versus our gecko squad is going to be 806. So obviously you the, the trade-off with the Wardens is you're going to be at range. You're going to be completely safe from all the things, uh, but the DPS is lower. So you can be safe, but you're going to be doing stuff a little bit slower. Uh, the Hornet, Vespas, Geckos, you do more DPS, but you do have to be within range and you have to make sure nothing's attacking them, etc. So the only caveat and one of the reasons why I'm not using the third drone link augmenter on this, on this build is because if you look at the optimal range of the Wardens, if I get this out of the way... Optimal range is about 87. And that's with my uh that's with this turned on. It goes up to 87. So that's when it's like you'll start getting some serious fall off when you go past that. Um it says the accuracy fall off is like 55 and the optimal range is 87. So you know, you can use however long range you would like with these, but one of the reasons why I'm not using a third drone link right now is because they only hit, the Wardens only hit out to really effectively 87. They can pot shot stuff at one at 130, but it won't do very much damage comparatively until they're into that, like, nice range where we're starting to hit the Uranium ammo as well, and, like, 87-ish. So, uh, so that's the basic fit. Let's dive into some gameplay, and then we'll get you some more stuff. Let's check it out, okay? Alrighty, we're taxing. We've accepted our level four. Some gameplay tips as we're going. When you're doing your warps, like I was saying, make sure you pulse your warp drive, okay? You're gonna pulse it once. You're gonna see it on the bottom of the screen there. Pulse to green and now to red. You're gonna watch my warp dial, okay? It's going up, it's going up, it's going very, very slow. And then once that warp, once that uh, booster finishes, we immediately go to our warp speed. That's why we have this. It lets us hit our warp faster than normal, okay? So we'll see you once we're at the level four mission. All right, tip number two, while we're taxiing over to our mission here, okay? We, you'll notice we have some extras in our drone bay here. This is primarily because it's a level four. Stuff's gonna get a little bit hairy. Uh, we have no extra. Do we have an extra snipe drone? We have one extra snipe drone. If something's taken a bunch of shield damage, there's a frigate that's popped on me and I, you know, I made a, I like made a mistake. I can pull that one in pull in the damage ward and put out the uh, not damage warden and keep on moving. It's the same thing with our geckos. Geckos get actually targeted quite a bit in the level fours by a lot of the battleships and a lot of the uh, battle cruisers I've I've seen will go after these guys. I'm not sure why it's those specifically, but whatever. What we're doing it, we're out here. Okay, so I'll pull in the damage gecko and I'll throw out the undamaged gecko so we can just keep this DPS train going. So uh, let's get this acceleration get going and then we'll dive into the level four. Alrighty, we're popping into this level four. I moved my camera down here so you can see what I'm targeting and all that stuff. So so I'm just going to show you how we're going to have another video on exactly what I do in every level four, but I'm just going to show you right off the bat how we pop into this. So we're, we're going to target the guns first because I just I don't like these guns. OK, with this stuff on, we're going to immediately pull out the snipe drones. And even though these are a little bit close, let's see if we can hit them with our stuff. So we're going to pop the guns, pop the snipe drones. And because I really like the snipe drones for this specifically, uh, because the guns are far away, typically your geckos and stuff are going to have to taxi to them and just really annoying to deal with, okay? Uh, you'll notice... That's great. I have skill points. Thank you, game. You'll, you'll notice that we dropped an MTU as we came in. Make sure you're saving your locations when you're using your MTUs, okay? So we have the guns here. Once we're clearing up these guns, we'll dive into the rest of the enemies, okay? So you'll notice we're we're still working our way through the guns here. The DPS isn't crazy, but we're, we're saving time, in my opinion, because we're not having to taxi our drones all the way over. Uh, the MTU is going to be able to pull in any kind of wrecks that we've got going on. And look at this tank. Okay, I am sitting completely still. This is not advised. You know, I don't advise ever sitting still. Mm, I think we're fine. We're, we're right. Those aren't the right, uh, those aren't the combat probes. So we're sitting completely still and our tank is taking no damage. Now, granted, it's a bunch of frigates and some cruisers and it's just a couple guns, so nothing crazy. But that's how this goes. You get some Supreme tanks. So now that that's done, we're gonna recall these. Now, I don't want to actually use the geckos yet. So we're gonna call out our like, Frigate killing squad here. Okay, easy enough. 
We're just going to go after whichever one's close. I'm going to throw... These have been on our number two side here. They're on the directional tracking link. And look, they just, they just start dropping. You get to a certain point when your drone specialization is high enough where uh, destroyers, frigates, they just start getting one tapped by all this stuff. Now, I'll pull these back. Normally, I just kind of let them sit if there's something like this. But I want to show y'all the good old geckos. And we're not using the guns here. At a certain distance, within like 20, the guns just stop doing damage. The guns just... You know, in my experience, the gun just won't do any damage. They'll just keep missing. So we'll, we'll throw the geckos on this cruiser and we'll see. So this is really easy first pocket. Uh, once we clean these up, we're going to pop into the second pocket and keep showing you. Hopefully we get some battleships in there too. So, all right, we're popping around a little bit here. Just want to show you all the good stuff. Uh, that pocket was really easy, actually. We just, it was a nice showcase of the uh, uh, sentry guns or the sentry wardens, excuse me. So we can just pop stuff at range while we're being stationary. Here we go. We got some battleships. We got some goodies. Made sure to scoop up my, my MTU there. Uh, where are we looking? So they're, they're a little bit further away, 50, 60. So let's just pop in some uranium here just so we can get some goodies in. Let's launch this very, very quickly and let's start our locking. I was a little bit slow on the lock there, but that's a-okay with me. So this, I'm going to show you off the snipes, even though this room is small enough that I don't think it would matter. Uh, where We throw out the snipe drones and we're going to wait for the destroyer to go. Let's see if our destroyer can hit this. Now, and they're probably going to one-shot the destroyer. That's normally how that goes. Okay, so we're going to put our gun on the battleship. Remember, the guns don't do a lot of damage. We're going to let the uh, wardens keep popping the smaller stuff. And here we go. We got ourselves quite the room here coming in. You love to see it. So this is normally how this goes, where uh, you're going to aggro some stuff. You're going to see if you can kill off the small things with your gun drones. And then when everything starts getting close to you, like right about now, everything's kind of within 50. Maybe I should have called out the geckos in the first place. You're going to recall the sentry drones, call out the geckos, and we're just going to start moving because you are going to start taking some damage. We're going to throw our geckos onto the battleship because I know these, this Pith Conquistador, much missiles, and our tank, we're finally starting to get into the armor section of our tank. Uh, we don't need to keep our number three on. I normally keep my number two on at all times. There's our first warning. A-OK. -okay. We'll see what's going on. So we do have the uranium bullets on right now on our guns because it is uh, not within the optimal range of the antimatter yet. Optimal range is about uh, 36. I could use antimatter here, but that's fine. So uh, we're finally hitting our armor. Here's where this goes, okay? Uh, yeah, we're just we're just going to pay some small attention to it. You'll notice, even though the cap isn't stable, I haven't even had to use my armor repairer once, so we're totally fine. I'm going to pop it once here, and just we're going to keep one cycling stuff. And now what I like to do is we're going to take our, our drone beatdown squad, and we're just going to keep on hitting stuff from that way towards me. Okay, we're going to try to focus on... Uh, the stuff that is close to the drones, so that way they're not taxiing across the map and wasting time, okay? So if you're ever targeting a frigate, I like to pop on this number three, the Senti and Sensor Booster, so it takes much less time to target those frigates, and there it is. Okay, so the armor's a little bit a little bit low, a little bit low. Uh, I want to show y'all the power that this build has, where let's say that we were taking too much damage here, and we really were like, you know what, we're taking too much uh, I really think we have to kind of get away from this. Let's peace out. I'm going to show you all in just a sec. I want to take out this one battleship because the sentries aren't the best at killing the battleship. So we are leaving our armor on because we are now, you know, taking just enough damage that it's getting to the point where I have to leave the repper on and just keep it going. We're going to take out this one battleship and then we're going to, we're going to zip away and we're going to show you the good stuff that the sentry drones do. Okay. So something incredible about the, and we're going to pop on tungsten because we're going to go far away okay so something that's really good about the uh, sentry drones is that when you're super far away from stuff they're just going to be going straight for you right they're not actually going to be you know and make sure i'm going the right way all right perfect everything's in good let's pop this so everything's going to be flying straight towards you so they're not really going to be moving left or right so it's going to make your gun tracking very very simple and that works with the drone tracking as well that's one of the reasons why we have omnidirectional sorry the optimal range script in here and not the tracking speed script all right so we're going to go ahead and stop we're going to stop now it's too far right way way too far nope we stop on our sentient booster uh, our max targeting is 105 with the sentient booster on we can do even more things so once the ships come to a decent stop we throw out the uh sentry drones and just let them just let them go so one tap on the frigates, the frigates are flying the frigates, the, the frigates are flying, the frigates are flying straight towards me. Say that five times fast. The frigates are flying straight towards me. Goodness gracious. So now we're just gonna stay at range and we're just gonna keep popping stuff. This is the best part of this is that the ammo is not used up. 
when you have the drones. So right now the drones are not in range. It's 105 that I can start giving the drones uh, orders. So in the meantime, we just got our tungsten shots, more pomp and stuff that does consume ammo, but the drones do not consume ammo. So if you really are like on a budget, I really like this sentry drone setup because this is why I was telling you, you can use this setup even if you're just doing tech twos and you can fly through level fours because you're not spending too much on ammo because of the, of the uh, uh, sentry drones. And your, uh, even when you're using ammo, I'll typically, when I was poor, I was just using one pot shot of tungsten just to get them aggro to me. And then just waiting, just waiting for them to come to me. It's a little bit more passive and you're not gonna like go as fast, but if you're new to, oh, I didn't see that, I didn't see that was in range. But if you're new to Eve, if you're new to level fours and you don't wanna like, you know, go too crazy, this is a really good way to make some money. Um, this, is the, this is the strategy, ladies and gentlemen. If you've got the stuff for the geckos, then use those but if you don't this is probably what i would recommend to you is get yourself a nice dummy get some good stuff going and keep it keep it going there so yeah that is actually going to do it for this video i've showed y'all all the goodies that i can do i'm going to finish this level four and not die horribly my my tank is taking some damage here okay so i'm going to finish this level four if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out the rest of our stuff we'll see you in the next one thanks very much